No long intros. Email and Instagram for music video inquiries and the website down below for my presets and editing pack. I know I say no long intros, but I just gotta show you something, talk about something. Here's what each effect in each program looks like. I think the After Effects version looks better, but that's me. Um, if you guys want the preset, the preset is for Premiere Pro, so it'll look like the Premiere Pro one. And the Vegas one, I have an overlay in the description right down with it too. It's kind of pretty much the After Effects one, but it just looks a little bit different because it's in Vegas and, you know, the stuff that comes with that. And I have some thoughts I want to share with you guys. So I'm not saying my versions are the exact same as the videos, but they're so close that I can show you guys. And I've seen other tutorials that just clickbait the title and don't look anything like the effects. But anyways, moving on, I have to... Before we start, I have to show you my thought process on trying to recreate this effect. Uh, this right here, I would think that the After Effects way looks way similar to the effect, but this right here is stumping me up. You can see right here there's lines. Um, sorry for the bad video quality, but there's lines right here waving through the waves if that makes sense and that's how you do it in the Premiere way, but I couldn't get my Premiere settings to look like that. Also, on this way, wow, okay, anyways, this way looks more like the Premiere way um, with the boxiness, but in my opinion, I think the After Effects way looks better. All right, let's get into it. So let's get into this After Effects way. First thing you want to do is you want to have your clip right here, blah, blah, blah. All right, you want to right click on the timeline, new, solid, okay, and then go to your effects panel and type in fractal noise. Okay, and then grab fractal noise, drag it onto your solid. Okay, and then now what we're going to do is you want to go to this transform right here. You can leave everything the same, except you can also change the contrast a little bit just to make it a little bit darker and clearer. You need contrasted. Open up the transform, open up scale, um, uncheck uniform scaling, and the width, you're going to want to bring that all the way up, and the height, you're going to want to bring it kind of down to about right here now these are going to be your distortions so all your you know waves this these are how big they're going to be so if they're like this they're going to be super tiny if they're like this they're going to be super big so i'm i'm gonna move mine about right here that looks nice and now we'll have this okay but first before we move on we need to animate this so I like to animate it kind of like the video did. I like to go, I like to move these upward. You can also move them sideways here. Yeah, I'll just show you guys. So this evolution, they're kind of evolving and moving around. That's a good way to do it too. But the way I like to do it is I like to go to transform or this offset turbulence. I like to just move this up and down or you can do it like this, like I said before. But I'm just gonna animate this. So I'm gonna make a keyframe this offset turbulence, go to, I don't know, the end of my clip and i'm just gonna move this super fast oh wait wrong way move this super fast oh that way okay so now if you look at it it'll be like this and animated all right so now it's time to do the distort effect so what you want to do is you want to right click again new adjustment layer and then put it right over the black solid now what you want to do now is go back to your effects and type in displacement map okay and then drag it on onto your adjustment layer now the displacement map layer, you're going to want to change that to the black solid. And then now you can move this around, but you notice that nothing's happening. So you have to go over here to where it says source, change that to effects and masks, and then now you're golden. Now what you want to do is you want to uncheck the black solid. So your video is popping up, and then now we have the distortion effect. Now if you want it more, you can bring up the horizontal more, since the lines are placed horizontally. Um, or you can break up the vertical if that makes sense like that so now we have a horizontal distortion like that which looks more like the video I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so now if you look at our effect since we animated it before we'll have this animation of it going up and down this distortion which is kind of like the video which the way we wanted it but let's say you want you don't want this distortion to go horizontally you want it to go vertically well you're gonna have to go back to the black solid I'm just going to open that up and then you're going to want to change, just change the height all the way up, but then change the width super small. I'm just going to type this in to about that, uncheck that, and then now we'll have vertical displacement. Now, some ways they did it, I'm going to show you the way they kind of do it when he's on the car. 
which is it just pops up and fades out. So this one is a mask on top of the clip. So I'm going to grab my bottom clip. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to drag up above my adjustment layer, above everything. So now I want to create a mask. So I'm going to rotoscope him just so the mask is faster. And you guys don't have to watch me do it all the way. Okay, so after completing I, after my completing my super sloppy rotoscope, this is the effect you'll get. I'm gonna change this back to uh, to more of a horizontal distort, and then so we'll get get this horizontal distort. Now the way they did it is they animated it from zero into a distort and then back down to zero. So if you want to do that, you can. An easy way to do it is just. Um, cut your adjustment layer and then change the opacity but I want it to just start from normal and then go to the distort so I'm gonna do something a little bit harder which I'm gonna animate the black solid so I'm gonna go to my scale height I'm gonna keep that to one and then go my scale width and keep that to one now we'll have some distortion here but if we just cut it right here <laughs> then it will be good right or I should say no make the adjustment layer move there we go. So now we'll have normal and then K. So now since we're starting right here, I'm going to keyframe the scale height and scale width. I'm going to go up and then I'm just going to bring the scale width a lot and then go to the right again and bring it back down to zero. So now if you look at it, it should go back down to zero soon enough. One's going to go back down to zero. Oh, right here. Wait a few seconds, and then I'm going to cut my adjustment layer right here. So if we look at it, it goes up, comes down to adjustment layer. Now another thing that you can do is they added the scale. So I'm going to cut the clip right where my adjustment layer starts. And then this clip right here, I'm going to press S on my keyboard. This will bring up the scale. I'm going to bring this to 120, maybe 110. And then I'm going to scale this up like this, and then I'm going to Bring it down to 100. Okay. We wait a little bit. Okay. So now, if you look at it, it goes. It bumps up with the distortion and goes back down. And that's pretty much it for the After Effects. Uh, stick around for the Premiere one or a Vegas one if you're part of Vegas. Premiere part of the tutorial, like I said below, I have a preset for this down in the description below. If you don't want to copy that, if you don't want to download that, you can just copy my settings. It's pretty much just one effect. Super simple. And here's what it looks like. Like I said, I think the After Effects version looks better, but not sure exactly how they did it. So you can see it starts right here, goes into it, and it goes out. This preset. The effect is actually Wave Warp in Premiere Pro, so if you just look it up, you can do it. And then I have my keyframes here, and if the effect is, the wave height is 284, where the wave width is 16. And I have anti aliasing on, and pinning is none. Um, the pinning, I should just say first, if you put it to all edges, it'll just be around in the center right here. And I think they did that in some of the videos, so just so you guys know. Now, let's get into some of the effects they did in the video. I'm just going to do one main one, which is when pump is on the car, and then it comes out and pops, and kind of it goes back, if that makes sense. So what you want to do is you want to copy your clip, come and press, uh, wait, I'm not in After Effects. Hold Alt, drag it up, and do that. Now I'm going to select the top clip, I'm going to take off the wave warp from that one, and then just delete that. Now I'm going to mask him out, so I'm going to click this mask. And I'm going to do a super crude mask and nothing less, nothing more for time's sake. So if you guys want to do this, you know, make it do fast. And I'm going to track it like this. Uh, I guess I didn't get some of this right here, but you guys know, it'll, you know, you guys know what it'll look like if it didn't. Wow, this is really bad. Okay, so okay, let's stop that. Okay, so now if we have. If you look at this, we have this effect where he's clear and the distortion is in the background. Now, if we want to do it like the same way they did it in the video, we're going to have to, which is it kind of just pops up automatically and it goes back. We're going to have to go to our bottom clip. And since this is a preset, I'm just going to delete this first keyframe and then move this up. So now 
it'll have it'll start the distortion from the beginning so if you want to do it like they did in the music video it uh, like I said they just popped up from the start and then it was all good so we want to do with the bottom layer is you want to change the scale to maybe 110 120 and it'll look this and then now animate this by clicking the keyframe button and then just going about right here you know where we see fit going to 100 and then at the same time you can change the animation of the distort with the keyframes or you can add a dissolve as in like a transition cross dissolve to it but this way is good too and I think it looks better so if you look at it it'll go automatically into that now if I do this we have okay let me uh so if we have this right here right let me explain it first we don't have a bottom clip and since this is already masked you can either track the mask or what I like to do is I like to just insert a new video track add a track and then just copy the top layer onto the bottom by holding alt clicking on the bottom layer and then just deleting the mask so now we have this into one of the shockwave effects another thing you can do this shock with this effect is you can change the direction so if we have this right here I can make it vertical like this or if I want to go really crazy I can make it spin like this during the whole time so I'm just going to show you the spin by keyframing the direction going over here and then changes this to four so it will spin two times in total and it'll look like this and that's basically it for the premiere part of this tutorial thanks for watching guys uh, I forgot this if you guys aren't part of the Vegas people you guys don't really need to watch anymore watch my other tutorials and hope you guys like this video and comment down below what we want to see next yeah cool Okay, so the Vegas part of the tutorial, you're going to need the overlay that I provided in the link description. I made it myself. I tried doing it with warp waves and it wasn't really working. It didn't look that good. So I guess this this way is the best way to do it. So yeah, download that and then come back in here do that. All right, so here's my clip. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I showed the After Effects and Premiere people. I'm going to show you how to do the distort and then how to clean him up and then do this distort in the background while he's all nice and pretty. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta right click on the video track, insert new video, and then drag in the overlay, and then I'm just gonna make it as long as my clip. So now if you look at the overlay, we'll have this. So you're gonna go to the left and then click on this little green button right here, click 3D or click custom, and then make sure you're on the Vegas. Sometimes mine was on the compositors and I couldn't find it. So make sure you're on the Vegas folder. Vegas displacement map, add, okay. And then now you'll have the distort. So I brought my vertical all the way down and I brought my horizontal to like 0.9, maybe about right here. So 0.18 and then that will look kind of good. Now this is maybe a little bit too heavy so you can always bring it down, but it's gonna be a super small number to 0 0.009. Now you can also mess with these. These actually do change something. so. If we change this to invert, it'll change it a little bit. Um, so yeah, just mess with these and do all that. Now, you're going to have a little bit of black here. What, what I like to do is I like to just wrap pixels around, but then you're going to have the overlay with it, but I think it's better than having nothing there. Or you can render this out and then put underneath your regular clip. Okay, now it's time to do the effect where it pops up and then he's all looks super nice so you want to do is you want to create a new video track insert new video track and then drag this below it right so the overlay is above this um, but we need to delete this track hold on so oh wait bring this back up sorry about that because we need that because this is already composited to this track delete this track all right we need to right click on the top layer and insert new video track now we're going to need to grab our bottom clip and then hold control, drag it up, and copy the clip. Now what we're, we're going to want to do is we're going to want to crudely mask him out and then I want the, so I want the effect to start here. I'm just going to cut it to right here and then mask him out. Um, now I'm not going to totally mask him out. If you guys didn't know what I did, I clicked pan crop and click mask. Um, I'm not going to totally mask him out because that will take too long. But I will do a crude rendering just like that and then go a couple frames. Uh, that's going to be hard. And then go a couple frames. Now 
how we want to do is we want to scale the bottom layer. So I'm going to split the clip right here. And then right when the distort starts, starts I'm going to scale it up. So once you split the clip, click on the pan and crop of the second clip of where you distort clip. And I'm going to scale it up about right here. I'm going to move it to the right because our clip is kind of small. And then at the position, I'm going to move about, or whenever this is done, I'm going to move about, go back to default. And then this should be done. I'm going to move our distort to that size or that length. And then I'm going to fade this out like that. Okay, so what if I should have done is, if this all goes correct, it should have done something like a pop-up here. Let me shift B. kind of did a pop-up and like I said before the mask is horrible and it, it goes a little bit too long so I'm gonna go about 20 frames and then we can see how it looks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 okay I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do this and then now I'm gonna make this pan and crop back to default in the beginning and then make this pan and crop back to default in the beginning. Sorry, this is just the editing process, um, but that is pretty much the effect. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit so you guys have the best look. And I think I need to feather the mask a little more, so I'm gonna go to the top clip. I'm actually gonna cut the clip so the mask is only on the top clip for how long I need it. The mask, feather type. With all these keyframes, you're gonna have to change them just so you guys know. In and then I'm gonna make it out like that. Yep, a little bit like that. And then at the last feather, I'm gonna make it in again, or it's fine right there, actually in, and like that. So now if you look at it, it should look pretty decently. Like that. And with, with a beat, it'll look, I think it'll look pretty nice, right? Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the Vegas part of the tutorial. I know I still keep you guys updated on the Vegas stuff. Um, watch my other tutorials, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe and like and, you know, all that jazz. All right. Oh, man. Peace out later.